Hi Aries, welcome to your March You versus Them Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. Aries, we're taking, you're taking a look at, if I can speak, your energy and their energy and see what's going on with you, with them. And just going to see what's going on here, no matter your situation. So welcome in, Aries. Welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you need to, Aries. I will be putting your energy here, Aries, in your person here. So like I said, if you need to flip or switch the energies around at any time, please feel free. All right, Aries. Let's see what is going on for you. Just let me get situated here. Now that my cat jumped off my chair, I can get comfortable. All right. All right, let's see what we have for you, Aries. We have 14 here. Purification, fire. You are a fire sign. Bare essentials, the naked truth, and wholeness. 14 is 5, which is about change. And we have eternal dance. Movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance. And we have 19, which is 10, which can be about endings and new beginnings here. So I kind of feel like here, Aries, you might have, have had a connection here where you needed to kind of um, almost like purge, detox, um, cleanse yourself of this connection for a while. So you may be on an ending or a break right now. I still feel like you feel eternally connected to this person, but I feel like you need to get, you needed to get back to yourself, which meant that maybe you had to release this person here. Maybe it was very, very, uh, almost like, um, I'm almost feeling like, um, six and a half weeks energy so could have been very let's say intense could have been very very fiery passionate intense like you couldn't live without this person or each other you always had to be with each other maybe it started to get a little toxic and codependent because of that and you're like you know what i need to take a, take a step back here and kind of like purge and cleanse and free myself from this energy just for a little while here and strip right down to the bare bones of the whole situation here and see what is causing it to be this way is it something that is meant to be here or is this just something like karmic i need to learn or whatever the case may be but you still feel connected to this person with the eternal dance you definitely could have had past lives with this connection and it could be with this person it could be that maybe this is a time to end this karmic um connection that you've had through many lifetimes with this person but we'll see what's going to happen here so let's see what your person has. Goddess of creation, transformation, creativity, and wholeness. And we have seven, which is a spiritually, divinely guided energy, but though it can seem a little stagnant. So right now they're feeling like the, uh, they definitely see you as a goddess, so they could be a little obsessed. Um, but they're realizing right now things are stagnant, but it kind of has to be that way. <clears throat> Harmony, power, self-confidence, and productivity we have three which is growth and expansion i'm feeling right now with a lot of this green energy they could be concentrating like on their work money career finances something that they're uh, a project an endeavor something creative maybe to kind of take their mind off try to maybe take their mind off the connection because for them it was very intense as well so maybe they're using this time to concentrate on other things in their life as well but they're still thinking of you as a goddess. So a, feeling a little obsession here, maybe on both ends as well. Oh boy. All right, let's see, Aries. Aries, let's see. So is this something that can come back together? So we'll see how you're both feeling. Um, or is this meant to kind of, you know, work through this energy to finally release it because maybe you've just had many, many past lives with this person? All right, let's see. Let's see how you're feeling right now, Aries. Aries. Six of Wands. You're feeling good and confident right now. That's my cat using his scratcher. So if you're wondering, what the heck is that? <laughs> my cat. All right, let's see. 
high priestess so you're definitely i feel like stop communication with this person right now so you can concentrate on yourself um ace of wands in reverse so yeah i don't think you're having any passionate interaction with this person right now you kind of cut that off as well the lovers but you're still feel uh, exactly you're still feeling this energetic um connection to this person two of cups in reverse but you're not together so there's the energetic connection but you're not physically together queen of cups there's still love here there's still love uh, beneath all this like fire passion maybe a little obsession whatever there is love here and you you maybe you're realizing now that you've cut the cord of the fire and the passion the obsessiveness whatever the intensity and now you've been in separation for a while maybe it's been six weeks um you're starting to feel wow i think maybe i do love this person the devil yeah there's that toxic obsessive lust and passion and desire connection it's funny because you have the lovers and the devil and that's like both aspects of the lovers actually nine of pentacles in reverse i think you're still longing to be in a relationship with this person i mean nine of pentacles in reverse usually for me is somebody who is still connected to somebody um that's usually a single energy or very feeling very single abundant grounded but nine of pentacles in reverse you know you could be technically single right now maybe you're not really liking it <laughs> the more you separate from this person three of wands in reverse so i think you're not too clear here you know where you're going to go next with this person in this connection because the three of wands is like you're manifesting what you want you know what's coming in it's just a waiting period i kind of associate the three of wands to you go online you put in your order you have to sit back and wait for its delivery. It may take a day or two or same day, whatever. But you manifested that. You just have to wait for it. But in reverse, it could be you just don't know how to manifest or you just don't know what you want to manifest or you just don't know, do I want to manifest this person back into my life or do I want to completely let go? That's kind of what I'm feeling here. Seven of Pentacles. So I think there's still more self-investment you need to make on yourself right now the seven of pentacles tower there so there's big awakenings and shifts happening four of swords in reverse so i mean that's the healing process but in reverse it's almost like i want to get up and take action nine of wands so i feel like you're struggling through the separation but again eight of pentacles about putting in the work keep working on yourself seven of wands try to keep those healthy boundaries up i feel like that's what's needed um, you're finding it hard. You're struggling, you know, keeping, you know, your distance, I feel. But you're having big awakenings through this time. So it's about staying grounded and planted in yourself and keep investing and working on yourself as well. If this resonates for you. So I'm not getting a clear definition like where it's going from here. But um, I'm still feeling like there could be a chance if we can get past the the lust and the obsession if that's you know free because we do have the queen of cups which is a more caring nurturing giving energy and there is love here that definitely is so let's see we have pisces cancer gemini capricorn uh let's see aries that's actually you right here as well all right empress yeah know your value and worth and you know I, I just want to keep your distance so i'm not saying like totally give up on this relationship but you're, go you're gonna know when the time is right empress here it could be something about three maybe three more weeks or something like that you know until you know that it's ready to take action here eight of wands there's a little more transformation that needs to uh, happen here i feel all right Whew. so let's see so i definitely yeah, it's everything we said both energies of the lovers the lovers and then you have like the kind of like the negative side of the lovers is more like the temptation lust and desire and that codependent um a little bit toxic energy not saying it was like toxic toxic but just in the fact that it's like you always had to be like oh my god i'll die without that person i have to be with them all the time all right so let's see so if you can get past that if both of you can get past that energy 
and resist that, there's definitely a chance for this. You know what? I'm going to turn this around because I want I want this to work for you, Aries. So let's get rid of that energy. Get rid of that energy. Focus on the future and put this upright of love and abundance and prosperity and more genuine energy here. All right. So let's see. I'm not saying that it wasn't genuine between you. I'm just very, very uh, addictive, intense energy. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. All right. So let's see what's going on with your person. What's going on with your person? Oh my God. I can't. Are you serious right now? Oh my God. Okay, repeating card. Let's get them all out here. Three of rods. You both had that in reverse. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? Six of rods. Six of rods. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Queen of rods. That's you, Aries. Queen of swords. Eight of rods. We saw that in the bottom of your deck. Wow. Nine of rods. Um... We had that on the bottom of your deck. I thought it was in your spread. Seven of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So, that is crazy. Those three cards, bam, bam, bam. You had them all on your side. So, that they're feeling the same way. All that lust, temptation, obsessive, intense energy. And they're all like, hmm, okay, I know we're on this separation to try to sort this out. So I don't, they don't know where this is going either. They want it to be successful as well. Six of Wands right there. Queen of Rods, but there's so much. They're so tempted by you. There's such intense energy with you. Queen of Swords in reverse. It's like they, they lose their mind when they're with you. <laughs> it's like they just can't help it. Eight of Wands is about wanting to move forward, wanting to take action. But they know it's like a lot of struggle between the two of you because the energy is so intense. There's a lot of confusion they know that needs to be cleared up. So they know the two of you need to come together and have... Definitely, they feel the no communication right here with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, and they definitely know there needs to be a lot of communication surrounding all this intense, intense energy. And they're definitely thinking in the back of their mind, this has to be more stable and grounded for this to work. And exactly everything I've been saying over here. And again, I've been, I was talking about them concentrating on their work, money, career, finances, creative endeavors, projects. They could definitely be doing that, male or female, it don't matter. I can see the nine of rods, like looking over here, like they're struggling too. Like they're looking right over here, are you Aries? They're struggling too with this, um, separation or brief break or whatever you want to call it as well they're struggling struggling with this maybe they're a little confused as to why but i think the more you're apart the more it all becomes clear to them as well that's what needs to be talked about exactly and also how to be more stable and grounded in this connection i don't have any like infidelity or um anything like that i'm just feeling like there's the two of you it's like a firebomb <laughs> when you're together it's like so crazy intense and we did see the tower um there's that firebomb boom right there of the tower striking look at all the fire and steam it's like it's crazy wow i'm gonna turn their devil in reverse too because i i do want this to work for you that so it's letting go of all that energy finally Finally, I'm going to turn their three of wands. You both had it reversed. I'm going to turn their three of wands upright. So there you go. Look at successful future. So a successful future. That's what we're going to concentrate on. The truth, the clarity. Let's turn this around for clear communication. Definitely here that clears up this confusion. All right. So let's see. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't do that, but I want the energy to shift. So I'm kind of helping it. So... Knight of Cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles. There has to be a lot of work put into this. Knight of Swords happening very, very quickly. So when the two of you together, it's just the energy just takes off and it's so intense. But we need to slow it down, be more practical and wise here. 
maybe you know knight of cups being more loving caring understanding nurturing and giving as well nine of swords i don't you know it's about letting go of fear stress and anxiety two of swords making a decision here let's communicate so there needs to be a lot of communication here so we have aquarius um aquarius again scorpio capricorn libra aries that's you capricorn up there as well wow 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 this is quite intense i can almost feel the steam coming right off of this all right so let's see here um so they got the three two aces twos and threes in my time markers so i'm seeing um threes mostly i'm feeling we do have an ace up there too so i'm definitely feeling at least give this another three to four weeks before you even try to communicate again you know i don't know if this resonates like how long you've been separate for some i felt maybe six weeks all right let's see all right let's see what else we need to know here for you aries Phew. All right, Aries. Self love. 61, 7. So, again, 7. Spiritually divinely guided energies sometimes seem stagnant. Things need to work themselves out. Spirit's helping with that. So, just kind of be quiet and still. Look at all that fire and passion. It's time to put that all that fire and passion you put into them, into yourself. Wow. And self discipline. 41, 5 has changed. Look at all that fiery, red hot, fiery passionate energy wow self-discipline and self-love putting again putting all that energy into you putting into them into yourself wow okay so let's see for your person Someone could be same sex, doesn't have to be. I see two queens here. Actually, I see three queens. Did we get, we didn't have the queen of wands? Oh no, the queen of wands is here. The queen of cups. That would be the empress, which we did see the empress on your side. Oh no, the queen of cups is here. And we saw the empress on your side. So some, it could be same sex, but it doesn't have to be. Perseverance for stable ground and energy. There's that green of the heart chakra more in the energy of the heart chakra not the sacral chakra where you know it's all that lust desire passion more in the energy of the heart chakra green is also growth abundance perseverance i don't want to give up on this either what else synchronicity 87 so 87 is 15 which is six healing balanced energy here so i think things are going to line up somehow they're waiting for things to somehow line up energetically they don't want to give up either on this so somehow i don't they may know when it's the right time um some way somehow and maybe that's when you'll come together to communicate again another four so definitely maybe four more weeks here Oops, 44 environment so something about the environment between you like the energetic environment um has to change because when you're together it just creates like uh i heard fire fusion um like a fire bomb it's just it's very intense and explosive i feel not like fighting explosive it's just so so it's like the chemistry between you is just so intense it's crazy oh my gosh a lot of fours here, which is a stable ground energy. And again, green, growth, expansion. I think of earth energy, the heart chakra, getting more um, grounded into that energy. We do have karmic completion on the bottom here, 10. Some of you may decide, you know, it's it's karmic and I, I, you know, I can't do it anymore. It's my cat playing. And some of you may decide here that finally it's ending this karmic energy of this where you can actually transform um, more into a spiritual partnership right here. Wow. We have 27, which is 9. 
completion, full circle. We have four. So take that how it resonates. Wow. Right, Aries, that's what I have for you. And again, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there. And a uh, list of readings I do here, eight love, love readings a month. I'll be bringing back the Twin Flame readings in April. If you like general readings, check my small channel below. I have uh, generals going out now to only twice a month. So it's like I post one video a day for every sign. I mean, there's one sign every day, not every reading. Not every sign has a reading every day. That would be crazy. But only two readings a month over there right now. Your health, wealth, destiny is out. And your um, March general messages. So please check that out if you like to. So I'm wishing you the best, Aries. And I shall see you next time.